Hello, and welcome to another Monday Memo. I'm Pastor David Glesney, Senior Pastor here at St. John's Lutheran Church. It's a beautiful day here in Bloomington, Illinois. I hope you're having a great day where you're at as well. We're still in the teeth of summer, but school is coming down the track pretty quickly at us. And there's a couple of things I'd like to bring to your attention as far as that's concerned. Sunday School, our Joy Zone registration is now live on our website at stjohnsbloomington.org. So please head over there and make sure your kids are all set up for this upcoming year. We're really looking forward to this curriculum that's following the story of the narrative lectionary. Uh, and we'll be talking more about that at our One Worship service coming up on the 25th of August. And if you haven't signed up for that, yet and to sign up for a meal we'd really love to have you do that so we can prepare as as much as we can for all who will be joining us on that day also coming up speaking of school sort of stuff there are all these school sales back to school sales and even if you don't have kids there's a perfect opportunity for you to uh, to buy some crayons and we have um, we're collecting for lutheran world relief school kits and for health kits uh, more information can be found on our website about that as well as the display table here at st john's also coming up on the 18th of August, we'll be doing a blessing of the backpacks, but it's so much more than that. If you are a teacher, uh, an elementary school student, a junior high student, a grad school student, a professor, we would love for you to come to that service to be blessed as you begin a new program year. You may bring your backpacks or your briefcases or your laptops or whatever the, the tools of your trade are. If you happen to be a lunch lady at school, that we used to call them the lunch ladies, you can bring your uh, ladle if you'd like and we'll bless them that as well. Uh, we'd love to have you join us for, for that service. Um, there's lots of opportunities for different things that are happening. Thrive announcements will be coming out next week. We just have one or two more choices uh, to clear up before we make that all ready to go. Uh, but we do have a stepping stone coming up on the 15th of September for our third graders and our kindergartners where they'll be receiving their Bibles. Our sixth graders will be receiving them, I believe, on the 25th. So lots of wonderful stuff coming up. Speaking of Bibles, we continue our theme this summer, Action Required This Sunday, with the theme of Ever Ready, kind of like the old battery brand. And it's interesting where Jesus comes to us in this lesson, and I think the words, particularly at the beginning of this gospel lesson, are very well suited for us in this time where there's so much angst and anxiety and fear running around because of some of the events that have gone on in our country with gun violence and things that have connected with that. So listen to these words from Luke, the 12th chapter. Jesus said, Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out, an unfailing treasure in heaven, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet so they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, Blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would have not let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. If you deal with anxiety, as many of us do, this could almost put you on edge. When? How? Where? Why? But we go back to the beginning of this verse. Where Jesus says to us, do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. All that is needed is given to us through the waters of baptism, through faith in Jesus Christ. This gives us the freedom to be prepared, to be ready, to be there for others in their time of need, to reach out in God's grace, love, and mercy. No matter where this week takes you, we hope that God will bless you and be with you to calm you, to serve with you, to walk with you through life. We'd love to have you join us this weekend for worship here at St. John's. We worship on Saturday night at 5 and on Sunday morning at 8.30 with our traditional service and our community of joy services at 10 o'clock for the remainder of the summer. 
Again, I'd love to see you here on the 25th for the one worship service at 10 o'clock as well. And uh, if there's anything else that we can do for you here at St. John's, you can call or email. More information about all these things can be found on our webpage at www.stjohnsbloomington.org. God bless and have a great day.